Good morning, I thought I would do a grocery haul. Um, most of these groceries are for the new plan that I'm on, which is a plant-based, whole food plant-based um, program. And so I'm just gonna get into it. There is stuff for my family as well, so I'll still show you that, but it's not what I'm eating currently. First thing, I run late. <clears throat> Pancakes for the, well, for Dana, really. Delta can't eat the pancakes. Usually, um, if I make them pancakes or make Dana pancakes, I'll do a little piece of toast for Delta. Sourdough toast generally doesn't have dairy in it, so. I got some rice wine vinegar. I haven't cooked much with rice wine vinegar, but there's some recipes that have it, so I went ahead and bought it now. I bought three three containers of oat milk. Um, I really enjoy it. Um, I bought one container and liked it, so I went back and bought some more. And I eat that with muesli. So um, there's a couple of different types of muesli in here. It's usually just a mixture of oats and nuts, seeds and dried fruit sometimes. Um, and you want to make sure it doesn't have any oil in it um, or sugar, of course. Uh, so generally an example of a meal with muesli would be a bowl of muesli with chopped up fruit like strawberries or pears um, and then the oat milk. I bought a big tomato. Uh, my intention with that is to slice it up and put it on either a sandwich. So an example of another meal is the Dave's 21 grain and seed bread. I think that's what it's called. Um, with uh, oil-free hummus, which you make yourself. It's hard to find oil-free oil -free hummus. And then a uh, sliced tomato. And then I bought some sprouts to put on it. You could put cucumber, whatever you want. So um, I primarily buy cherry tomatoes just to put on salads, but the slicing tomato I thought sounded good. Blueberries, Fred Meyers had really, really big, um, a good deal on blueberries. So the girls like blueberries. I don't actually like blueberries. Bananas, which I also don't like. Those are for the girls. Russet potatoes. So potatoes are on the plan. Um, it's just oil free. So, you know, making potato wedges in the oven. A lot of people use the air fryer. I have an air fryer. I've just never used it. Um, but I will someday, I hope. Uh, yeah, so potato-based dishes. Uh, some ham for the girls. Some strawberries. Strawberries go bad pretty quickly. Um, I bought two packs, but I plan on eating... Um, a good amount of strawberries in the next couple days and then I'll give them to the girls as well. Uh, some sprouts for my sandwich. I have to travel on Wednesday uh, for work, so um, my intention is to take a, a big sandwich with me. Some more muesli. Dan uses a frother when he makes his bulletproof coffee, so his frother side so I bought another one for him. Some rice cakes. Yesterday I made a rice cake with some avocado on it and then sliced tomato on top of that and it was actually really good. Uh, some corn tortillas. These actually don't have any oil in them. Um, I thought I could do some veggies um, that are sauteed in water and you can also saute vegetables in vegetable broth but um, and then maybe some like fajita type seasonings in them. Uh, sourdough bread for the girls. I bought the latest Forks Over Knives magazine. I bought Dana some pull-ups and Delta and Dana both some baby shampoo. all these little bags in a big bag to bring them upstairs and now they are coming out. Got a second of rice cakes. Okay, 
go. Cucumber. I kind of like the small cucumbers, but they're hard to find. Uh, the second one of blueberries and then some shredded carrots. I really like to shred my own carrots, but it just doesn't happen very often. Um, I got some fruit snacks for the girls. Now these are not something I want to give them, but it's good to have them as an emergency in my purse because like yesterday we were at a walk by the river and Dana kept wanting to jump in the river and then she threw herself on the ground and had a little meltdown. So I had these old, you know, ratty packs of uh, fruit snacks in my purse. And I said, do you want fruit snacks? And she's like, yes. So she got back in the wagon and you know, we got to the car. So if it works, it works. Some more spring mix. Dana is three and has autism and weighs a lot for her age. Um, I don't even know exactly how much, but she's really heavy. So it, it doesn't work to just like pick, pick her up and wrestle with her. So some grapes, um, some oven roasted turkey for the girls. Some walnuts. And some whole grain pasta. Eventually I'll be adding that. Got two packs of that just for the pantry. And some little avocados that are pretty ripe actually. And last bag. Another muesli, um, vegetable ketchup. Um, on Ryan's plan, he's actually fine with um, regular ketchup. He's, he doesn't. He's not like super anti like sugar. He just he's good with a little bit. But with my history, a little like turns into a lot. So I try to not do sugar. And there's no sugar added on that. I've had it. Or well, Dana's had it before. I don't recall if I actually tried it. But um, anyways, so. Um, jam on toast is a, a snack that he suggested, um, but you want to get the most natural jam possible. So I bought this one and this one, I guess that would be saved for if I really am wanting something sweet, uh, some paprika and curry powder and some better than bouillon vegetable stuff. Yay. So that's it for my grocery haul. I'm going to try and make a separate video talking about the plan I'm on right now. Um, and I'm on day three now. So I'm pretty hungry. I'm going to get the cold stuff in the fridge and then I'm going to eat um, probably a bowl of muesli with some strawberries because that's been sounding good. And um, or I might do the avocado on the rice cake. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Let me know if anything sounds good to you. Let me know if you've tried whole food, plant-based. If you're doing keto or something different, let me know if any of these products sound good to you. Because I hope you're eating some vegetables on keto a little bit. And yeah, have a good day. Thank you.